Greetings. Welcome to the shark scale. Today's shark movie is Damn Sharks. Yes, not those damn sharks. Not this damn shark. A dam made by sharks. Wow. We're really just on cutting edge technology now. Damn sharks. Damn Sharks begins with two plots that have obviously eventually come together but start out separately. Taking place in what I can only guess is like the Ozarks or something similar to that, there is a big company retreat going on. See some big tech company or something like that is throwing a celebration for something and they're all going on vacation. There's like a dozen or two dozen of them. Well, they're just, they're just trying to really enjoy themselves with their dickhead boss. Meanwhile, a federal officer, sheriff, county person, I'm not really sure what she is to be honest. Uh, anyway, she's doing reconnaissance work or something like that with her partner when he is underwater and sees a human hand. Well, after this startling revelation, he gets eaten by a shark. Well, the female officer, person, whatever, escapes and enlists in this old guy to help her because she doesn't want to call her other officers for some reason. And it turns out there are sharks living in this river, and these sharks, they're a bit smarter than normal sharks, as they were smart enough to build a dam in the water to prevent life from getting out of the river, so they could just feed on whatever is in there. Yeah, they actually built a dam, like a Trump-like wall dam, in the water, made from garbage and human parts. That's pretty gross. So it's up to the officer to stop the dam, and for the people on the retreat to even survive their awful boss, let alone the sharks. The story is really stupid, like it's almost shockingly stupid. The concept itself of sharks making a dam and trying to keep people in isn't as, it isn't that bad and it kind of plays into the shark hunting man just idea but the rest of the movie is just so stupid. It's beyond nonsensical. Honestly the sharks are the only part that makes sense as they just want to kill everyone and trap everyone in the river. The humans just really make little sense in the movie. Whether it's the awful boss or the main character, the people who end up dying, yeah, no, there's just no logic, honestly, behind any of these characters. It doesn't really matter who it is. And I could honestly be here an entire day just mentioning all the little nitpicks and plot holes and how many times they just act like just idiots. And some of the plot points are just way too predictable for their own good. The characters like I just said they all come off as pretty bad I mean the main guy he's just kind of like a snarky douchebag the female cop person whatever uh, she's probably the only one that isn't totally awful but she still kinda sucks the boss in this movie is just borderline unsufferable he's probably the most realistic character really as a whole the story it isn't such a horrible idea but the execution is very poor and any character arcs presented are even worse Let's just talk about the sharks. The sharks are on screen actually a lot in this movie. The sharks are in just about every scene in the movie and that's no exaggeration either. They are everywhere. There are tons of them and they show up very frequent. It's rare that a shark movie is the sharks in basically every scene, but here we are. They really are almost in every scene in some capacity. I'd be hard pressed to say they weren't overexposed at this point though because they're just in so much of the movie and the thing is they look really bad. The CGI looks really poor. There is no practical effects, it's all CGI and it looks like PlayStation 1, maybe PlayStation 2 CGI. The sharks are really choppy, they don't animate all that well, and they change sizes. While there is a bunch of them, they all use the same like two models and repeat the same animations. And yeah, it's just lots of repeats, multiple times. And yeah, it was nice to see them in almost every scene, but it was pretty much just too much and it really just overexposed how bad the CGI is and how much reusing and recycling they did with the assets. This is one instance of more is less as I could have actually done with a little less or if they were going to have this many sharks on screen for this long maybe have some more unique models, animations, etc. In terms of the kills themselves I gotta say a majority of them were standard, generic and not too inspired. Most of them just involved the shark grabbing them and that was pretty much it. There was a couple good kills in here I will say that involved the shark jumping into the air, biting someone's ass, and grabbing people off a zip line. Those were good but those weren't a majority of the kills in the movie. A majority of them is just kind of the generic kills we've seen a number of times and if you love watching the same thing over and over like me then I guess it's fine but they were just kind of average. I will say the jumping sharks 
pretty good and that was one of the better aspects of the entire movie and I wish we had a few more jumping shark kills. The kills weren't that bad, I'm probably overselling the generic ones a bit much, but they weren't all that exactly great. One reason they all aren't great is again because the CGI is just so poor and they even use special effects around where the sharks are instead of just naturally creating water ripples or splashes or anything of that nature. Instead they use CGI for even the water and it's like dude it's so obvious that this is CGI like it's so obvious it's done in post editing. The CGI leaves a lot to be desired but the kills themselves weren't that bad. Something that was pretty poor was the acting all around. It was just very questionable and mostly a mixed bag. It's honestly a wide range of bad to really bad, with some of the side characters being really bad, and the main character, in fact, actually also being really bad. But the main the main female lead, yeah, she was she was just bad, not really bad. As everyone in this movie really just has corny, cheesy dialogue that wouldn't look out of place in a porno or honestly any other B-level shark movie. The main boss, the guy in charge, like I already said, he's insufferable. You really want to see him get killed. He's probably the most realistic character. He's just spoiled, rotten, and awful. The old man was decent, I guess. I mean, he was just bad. He could have been way worse. I guess I can say that... What I can say about all the acting is it definitely could have been worse, but it wasn't exactly anything stellar or interesting. It was just kind of like the bare average minimum, if not a little lower than the average when it came to acting. There just isn't much to comment on. It was just kind of there. It really is what it is. Speaking of not much left to comment on here, we are at the end of the video, the conclusion. What do I overall think of Damn Sharks? I think the only damn this movie gets is that it's pretty damn stupid. This is one of the stupidest shark movies I've seen in quite some time, and that really is saying something. It's like the movie tries to embrace the stupid, but really just failed, and actually brings up more stupid with its poor writing, inconsistent character motivations, plot holes, and reused assets. This movie had the potential to be a solid, decent, B-level movie. They could have even rivaled like Toxic Shark or something, but instead it just embraces the stupid so much that it actually just becomes really stupid as well rather than being something enjoyable and entertaining. I wasn't bored with it, I will give it that. The pacing is actually decent in the movie. There really isn't any boring parts to it, but there really isn't anything to the movie that stood out either. Maybe one or two of the jumping kills from the sharks are decent, but it's like, yeah, there's just not all that much to the movie. As a whole, the movie isn't exactly a classic. Again, pretty damn stupid. It's not like atrocious, I wasn't falling asleep, but it really did not reach for a high bar or even a decent one. With all that said, I'm going to have to give this movie a solid 2 out of 5 on the shark scale and gets the rating of meh. Could have been worse, could have been so much better though in many aspects. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this damn review and listening to my damn voice. Now have yourselves a damn good day. See ya.